on BBC Asian Network. He is back on our show, ladies and gentlemen, our very own Mr. Superfood. And he comes with a new title on the show today. It's very exciting. I'm sharing this with you. Chef of the Year at the 2011 English Curry Awards. Um, you might remember his book as well, Indian Superfood. It was the fourth best-selling book in the UK recently. And Gurpreet Baines is back on the show to teach us how to make curries that will boost the immune system with the winter blues now approaching. It's so good to see you. After I mean, how long? It's been it's been like ages. I mean, like, I've got a gripe with you, Sonia. Who hasn't? <laughs> it was my birthday <laughs> recently. I didn't even receive a card. I mean... Oh. Yeah, exactly. You've always sent me one every other year. So I'm what so happened sorry. this year? What, when was your birthday again? August 28th. I'm really... August 28th? I'm, yeah. And you're still upset about it? Come Absolutely. on! I mean, every fourth person in the UK was buying my book and you forgot about me. I'm so sorry. How can I make it up to you? You can take me out to lunch. I'll take you... <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You're on. OK. <gasps> That's it. How old were you? Oh, I don't want to talk about that. Hey, come on, listen. Okay, about tw- late twenties. Oh, listen. Be proud of your age. <laughs> how, how do I? How old do I look? Or how old? Yeah, how old? Yeah. Forty-two. Oh my god. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> well, I was being kind. Thirty-four. Thirty. You wait, did you turn thirty-four? Yeah. You look lovely on it. Go breathe. How do I? How old do I look? Seriously. Yeah. You 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 definitely look younger than thirty-four. How young? I need to know. Um, I'd say you look about twenty. 27, 20... Yeah, about 27. I'm 35 then. <laughs> Wait, 35, really? Yeah. Well, you look great on it. It's got no, anything it's to do with the food. food. Yeah, probably. We hope so. I mean, we're, first of all, yeah. before we even get into the mm-hmm. recipe, mm-hmm. congratulations on winning Chef of the Year. That's happened since okay. I last saw you then, in, in between. That happened. It was the Hungry House um, English Curry Chef of the Year Award. And I've actually brought the award with me um, today. And wow. I'm going to let you have an honour. I'm going to let you eat off... The actual plate, the curry gong, if you like. That's okay. an honour for you. Right, that's lovely, thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to share with everyone that you're just holding up a paper plate with the English curry chef written on it. <laughs> so, was I not allowed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, was I, I had to pretend that you brought the real one in. I forgot you would to not bring let the real me eat, one in. You would not let me eat off the real one. I would, I just would have put this plate on top of Where it. Where is so the your, real one? Your food would not touch the plate, but I would have put I the must, plate on it. I will not mislead my listeners. Oh my god, you're such a <laughs> Punjabi. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the real award? The real plate, I left it with my mum, who should be listening in this time. Such a good hope. boy, honestly, yeah. good breed. Such a good boy. Mm. Was she really proud, really happy when you got the award? Um, I think so, but you know, like with the parents, you talk about this is they you don't know what their actual real feeling is or response. Like, they just sit there, like so looking you, through you. Did you come home and you did you say, "Mum, I've won this award," and she was like, "Ah, oh, bochanga, ZTV ladi." Yeah, something like that. Like, as in no interest. A little bit. No, she, uh, they, th- she listens, but they, I don't know, it's just Is she listening to the goals. show right now? Um, I told her to listen and I did threaten her. I said, if, you know, if you're not listening, I said, you may receive a phone call from Sonia, so you will be busted. Can we call time. her again? Cause you can w- definitely call her. Can we? Because yeah. I, I remember speaking to Auntie once and I really, really liked her being on the show. Can she didn't know she was on the show last time, though, remember? No, but can we get your mum back on today? If you like. Just to ask her, or maybe congratulate her on her son winning this award, because mm-hmm. it's a big thing. Yeah, it's a massive thing. All right, then. And then we'll get into the the whole curry stuff as well. Okay. Right, so we, we need to we need your mum's number. So you need to write that down okay. for me somewhere. Yeah. But just to, just to explain as well, on a serious note, mm-hmm. the curry that you're talking about today, what's it called? It's called the salmon curry with um, goji berries and juniper berries. Okay, so that's great if you eat fish. Yeah. Okay, so do you, you, you don't eat fish, Strict I've vegetarian. heard just now. Strict vegetarian. Yes, okay. don't eat fish. Yeah, it's very difficult with the, the Asian network. You've got vegetarians, you've got halal, you've got non-halal. It's just a nightmare. So I thought so fish sorry. Would, I could have lied today. I could have actually... I've got some sauce for you, which I cooked the fish in. I removed the fish. I've got it over there, n- sitting next to the producer, Dina. And I could have lied to you, but when I heard you're a strict vegetarian, I honoured that. Thank you. And you couldn't even send me a birthday card. I'm sorry. I'm taking you out for lunch, though, for sure. All right. Now, what is different about having Mm. a regular curry 
and the curry that you're going to cook for us um, and teach us how to make, which is to do with boosting the immune system. What's the difference between the stuff that our mum makes and what you're teaching us? OK, so you've been talking about SAD today and I did a little bit of research on the internet because I'm, I'm not a, a doctor. I, I am a nutritionist, so... Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we've read up here... Um, SAD stands for? Seasonal Affective Disorder. OK, okay. which happens around about this time. Around about this time from September until April, it affects around 7% of the population mm -hmm. um, severely, which is debilitating and depressing. 15% of the population, which is a lot of us, are affected mildly. We're just down, so we can all sympathise with that, I guess. So it's like around about this time of year, you start mm. feeling down, feeling a bit, maybe a bit depressed, yeah. a bit low. That's right. And that's to do with... Lack of sun, mm -hmm. um, cold weather... And it can lead on to anxiety and depression now in how, severe cases. Yeah. How does the curry that you're making for okay. us today link in with that kind of mood that, that might affect people? Um, people who suffer from SAD can develop anxiety and tension. So I've used an ingredient that will help um, reduce the symptoms of anxiety, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. But the main thing is we use goji berries. Goji berries contain 500 times more vitamin C um, than oranges. And people who suffer from SAD and generally have a weakened immune system. So I want to focus on, from a nutritional side, that we can strengthen your immune system at least so you don't get sick on top of it. So now, As soon as you walk to in, yeah. I said to you, I've got a cold, don't mm -hmm. come too near mm -hmm. me, I'm suffering really badly with, with the cold. I mean, I obviously, because I'm a true professional, I'm covering this very well, but really, I'm, I'm You're dying. dying. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. I can see you can't see Sonia, people, I'm going to take a picture and upload it's it later. temperature, like, yeah. just my... You're hot, you're always hot though. Thanks, baby. <laughs> and my chest is really tight, and um, so so you've, you've given me a plate full of, can I just shake these? Yeah. They sound like little pebbles, but <laughs> they look like they're the size of a leggy. Yeah. They're pink in colour. I thought they were red, but well, I'm colour blind. Red? Are you colour blind too? Reddish, pinkish, okay. coral, coral. Okay, coral, yeah. Okay. okay. I, su I suppose red, yeah. Yep. Okay, and um, they, like I said, they're about the size of a leggy. And these are goji berries. That's right, yeah. Where would you get these from? I've actually just bought these ones from Chinatown um, in, in Birmingham, but you can get them in health food shops and a lot of the larger supermarkets. So quite easy to get a hold of. OK. Yeah. Now, why have you given me a, a plate full of goji berries? Because you won't eat my food today, so I thought I'd give you a plate of goji berries, but then you also... <laughs> Seriously, why have you given me a... OK. The, the real reason is they contain vitamin C, 500 times more than an orange. So I've given them to you because even the NHS advise on the onset of a cold, if you start taking vitamin C, the duration of the cold is reduced. So I'm trying to help you here. I've actually got a massive bag of them. I'm just going to give them all to you and you can be my guinea pig. Thank you. I'm going to see yeah. how... how effective they are how quickly yeah. they work Dina Ben is not well Ranjit Ben is not well and and are you alright Gubs Gubs is okay he won't be for long because like he's hanging around with us we've all brought our germs into work with us oh but thanks you're nice <laughs> why have you <laughs> so, so basically just eat loads of these so these have 500 times more vitamin C you say yeah that's so, right so yeah. like I don't know compare it to oranges okay if you compare it to the orange the curry we're going to make today so just we I've put 50 grams of um goji berries into it so when you divide it per portion you get um 30 times the amount sorry the same amount of vitamin c as you'd get in 30 oranges now that sounds like a lot but the nhs say you should eat between one and two grams of vitamin c per day the same amount in yeah. the curry and in the 30 curry three, oranges but that is only three grams of vitamin c when you know when it's all yeah you know reduced down but yeah if you wanted to eat oranges there's a lot of oranges yeah oh well, i'm just going to eat these berries just keep yeah stuffing them down yourself <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound so lovely. <laughs> OK, the recipe then for salmon, goji and juniper berry curry, which is really, really good for you and good for your immune system, is coming up straight after this.